Imagine this. You walk into a Tesla factory, expecting the usual symphony of robots, sparks and moving belts. But what you see instead feels almost impossible. A brand new electric car, the Cyber Cab, being built not in hours, not even in minutes, but in less than 30 seconds. It sounds like science fiction but Elon Musk believes this is the future. Not a distant dream, not a prototype locked behind glass. A real, operating system already being tested in Gigafactory Texas. And if it works, it will change not just how cars are made but how entire industries operate. For over a century, car manufacturing has followed the same rhythm. The Ford Model T defined it, the moving assembly line where every worker or robot adds one piece at a time until the car slowly rolls off the end. Faster robots and smarter computers have made it sleeker, but the principle remains the same. One long, continuous chain, hundreds of stations, each dependent on the previous one. It's reliable but it's also fragile. A delay at one point can freeze the entire line. The speed of the slowest part decides everything. Elon Musk has never accepted slow. He's obsessed with speed, efficiency, and elegance in engineering. For him, a factory should be a product itself, something you design with as much care as the car it builds. So, when Tesla engineers kept running into physical limits, how fast a line could move, how many workers could operate without clashing with robots, how much floor space it all required, he did what Musk always does. He threw away the old playbook and built a new one. He calls it the unboxed production line. The idea sounds simple but its implications are enormous. Instead of one car crawling down a long track, Tesla divides the process into independent zones. The floor, the front, the rear, the cabin. Each section is built separately in its own dedicated area. Once all parts are ready, they're brought together and joined in one synchronized move, almost like assembling a giant 3D puzzle. That's how Tesla can build a car in seconds. There's no waiting for each section to catch up. Each module works independently, yet perfectly timed with the others. Think of it like a symphony, every instrument playing its own part, but all reaching the final note at the same moment. Now this doesn't just make production faster, it transforms every step of the process. Traditionally, you build the car's skeleton, weld panels onto it, then send the whole thing to a paint shop where it's sprayed and baked in massive ovens. Tesla flipped that upside down. In the unboxed system, every body panel is painted separately before assembly. When the parts come together they're already finished, already perfect. But here's the tricky part, how do you assemble pre-painted panels without scratching them? Normally, welding and bolting would ruin the surface. Tesla's solution is genius. Instead of using bolts or welds, they use industrial adhesive, a kind of high-strength bonding material that's flexible, light, and unbelievably strong. It's the same principle used in aircraft manufacturing. These adhesives hold under stress, resist corrosion, and even help reduce cabin noise because they absorb vibration instead of transmitting it. Every section of the cyber cab's body is aligned using something Tesla calls a global datum system, basically a digital coordinate grid. Each robot knows exactly where every other part of the car is in three-dimensional space. So instead of aligning one panel to the next, the robots align every panel to the same master reference. That's why panel gaps, once Tesla's biggest criticism, are now near perfect. But the brilliance doesn't stop there. Adhesive needs time to cure, right? Elon Musk doesn't like waiting. So Tesla developed two clever hacks. First, temporary locator pins hold the panels in exact position immediately after bonding. Second, hot melt adhesive acts as a kind of instant grip, strong enough to keep everything stable while the main adhesive sets. No downtime. No pause. The line keeps moving. With this approach, Tesla has cut mechanical fasteners by roughly two-thirds. Where a traditional car might use hundreds of bolts and rivets, Tesla now spends only a few dozen dollars worth of adhesive per vehicle. That's how they save time, weight, and cost, all at once. Each module in this process is also self-contained. If a robot in the front assembly area needs maintenance, the other modules keep running. There's no full-line shutdown. It's modular, scalable, and massively flexible. When Tesla wants to increase output, they don't need to build another entire factory, they just add more modules. It's like adding more lanes to a highway without rebuilding the road. The result? A system that could theoretically produce one car every five seconds once fully optimized. Let that sink in. A new Tesla every five seconds, faster than you can pour a cup of coffee. At that pace, one factory could outproduce some legacy automaker's annual output using only a fraction of the space and labor. And this is what Elon Musk means when he says, the factory is the product. Because if the unbox system works, Tesla won't just be selling cars, they'll be selling time, efficiency, 
and the blueprint for the next industrial revolution. Let's talk about where it's happening. The first unboxed production line is being set up at Gigafactory Texas, where the company plans to produce the Cyber Cab, Tesla's fully autonomous robotaxi. According to drone footage and internal leaks, Tesla has already installed robotic vacuum arms, adhesive systems and separated paint modules, all perfectly aligned for this new process. Engineers describe it not as a car factory, but as a high-speed consumer electronics line. That comparison is intentional. Elon Musk wants car production to look more like smartphone manufacturing. Ultra-fast, ultra-precise and mostly automated. In his words, the line will move so fast that humans can't even get close to it. It's a place designed entirely for robots, clean, quiet, efficient. At full capacity, Tesla believes the cyber cab line could eventually build a car in less than 5 seconds. It won't happen immediately, initial runs might take 25 or 30 seconds per vehicle. But the long-term target is breathtaking. Now, think about the economics of that. Manufacturing has always been Tesla's bottleneck. Designing an EV is one thing, producing millions affordably is another. Every automaker can build a prototype, few can mass-produce it profitably. If Tesla cracks this, it means the cost of each car drops dramatically. Analysts estimate that unboxed production could cut per vehicle costs by as much as 50% compared to current Model Y or Model 3 lines. That means Tesla could finally deliver on Musk's long-promised $25,000 car, a true mass-market EV. And that's exactly what the next step of the system is about, the Model 2 project internally known as NV91 and NV93. These are compact, affordable Teslas built using the same unboxed philosophy. Smaller, simpler, lighter, but powered by Tesla's newest batteries and full self-driving hardware. This strategy also explains why Tesla delayed its cheapest model for so long. They weren't just waiting for better batteries. They were reinventing how to build the car itself. Because once you perfect unboxed production, every future model becomes cheaper to produce. Musk often says, the real innovation isn't the car. It's the factory that makes the car. The cyber cab is the proof of concept. A driverless vehicle that Tesla can build at lightning speed for around $30,000 each. But the long-term goal is to apply that system to every model, including the mass market lineup. And here's the ripple effect. Once Tesla proves this works, competitors will rush to copy it. Chinese automakers like BYD, NIO, and Xpeng are already known for adapting and improving innovations faster than anyone else. Expect them to create their own versions of modular, unboxed factories within a few years. What Tesla started in Austin could become the new global standard for automotive manufacturing. But there's something deeper happening here. The unboxed line isn't just faster, it's smarter. Every robot communicates through Tesla's internal AI coordination system sharing real-time data about alignment, torque, adhesive pressure, and assembly tolerances. The line can detect errors instantly, adjust automatically, and even predict when a part will fail before it happens. This self-healing, self-learning ecosystem could become the backbone of fully autonomous factories, where humans supervise but machines build almost everything. Elon Musk has often said he wants Tesla factories to look like alien dreadnoughts. Silent, mechanical organisms that function with near-perfect efficiency. With unboxed production that dream is no longer abstract. It's happening quietly inside Texas. Now let's talk about what this means for you, for drivers, consumers and investors. A faster production system doesn't just lower costs. It reshapes availability. Imagine waiting months for your new car to be delivered, then suddenly Tesla can build one in under a minute. That changes the psychology of buying. It brings cars closer to the speed of consumer electronics, order it and it's ready almost instantly. And it doesn't stop there. With automation doing most of the work, factories can run around the clock with minimal downtime. That means output scales exponentially without needing to hire thousands of new workers or build massive new facilities. At the same time, unboxed manufacturing also means cleaner, more sustainable production. No welding sparks. No fumes, fewer waste materials and less energy usage. A fully robot-driven line requires fewer resources, aligning perfectly with Tesla's mission to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy, not just through products, but through how those products are made. Of course not everyone is convinced. Some critics argue that full adhesive bonding is risky, that robots can't fully replace human oversight, and that scaling such precision on a global level could take years. But Elon Musk has always thrived where others see risk. 
Remember when people said reusable rockets were impossible? Today SpaceX lands them routinely. The same philosophy drives Tesla's factories. If this system works, it will push the entire world toward a new era. One where machines don't just assist humans but operate almost independently. A future where building something as complex as a car takes seconds, not hours. That's the age of abundance Musk talks about. When technology accelerates production so much that scarcity itself begins to fade. A world where transportation, energy and manufacturing all scale effortlessly. The unboxed production line isn't just about making Teslas faster. It's about proving that humanity can break its own limits. Again. So here's the real question. What happens when cars become as easy to produce as smartphones? When the time and cost to make one drops by 90%. It could trigger a ripple effect across every industry, from construction to aerospace to consumer goods. It's the birth of a new manufacturing philosophy, one that sees the factory not as a tool, but as a living, evolving system. If Elon Musk succeeds, Tesla won't just dominate the EV market. It'll redefine what a company can be. It'll be part automaker, part robotics pioneer, part AI infrastructure provider. A full-spectrum technology ecosystem that manufactures the future itself. And that's why this moment matters. Because somewhere right now, inside Gigafactory Texas, a group of robots is quietly assembling a new kind of car in less time than it takes you to blink a dozen times. A car built not by workers lining up along a conveyor belt, but by algorithms, sensors and mechanical precision so fast that no human could safely stand beside it. So the next time you see a Tesla glide silently down the road, remember this. It may not have been built the way any car before it was. It was unboxed. This isn't the end of car manufacturing. It's the rebirth of it. And as always, this is Torque Element, where we decode the future of automotive innovation.